MASH was one of the most popular TV series of all time, and one of the few based off a feature film that not only didn't suck by comparison to its counterpart, but also became incredibly successful. And this was based off a film that was nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. So that's a huge accomplishment right there. It lasted 11 seasons, and the year before the series finale, 1982 to be exact, an Atari 2600 game based off the franchise was released. You play as Hawkeye Pierce, the chief surgeon on the MASH unit, whose mission is to rescue wounded soldiers via chopper and operate on them once you bring them in. Why you're doing double duty as the same character is beyond me, especially since there was quite an ensemble cast. I mean, it's not like you're going to send the captain of the surgery team out to fly a helicopter into the crossfire of the Korean War and risk having him get gunned down while he could be back at the base operating on one of the many dying soldiers that continuously get wheeled in. But other characters are still utilized. The chopper that you're competing against is operated by either Frank Burns, BJ Hunnicutt, or John McIntyre. So I guess they have a personal wager as to who can save the most lives. It's kind of morbid. And Maxwell Klingler picks you up from the downed helicopter via ambulance, although how he gets the entire chopper into the ambulance, I'll never know. And lastly, Colonel Potter is one of the men who you're supposed to catch with your helicopter in another game mode. So, yeah, they did use a few characters, not that you can really tell anyway, but that doesn't explain why Hawkeye operates the chopper and performs surgery, but let's not worry about these details too much. So most of the game focuses on those two screens. You'll fly a helicopter, avoid trees, and pick up as many soldiers as you can, and bring them back to the base and unload them, and continue to make the rounds until 30 soldiers have been rescued and the round is over. While this is happening, you have to avoid the shells being fired at you by the Korean tank at the bottom of the screen. If you get hit, you'll lose the number of men on your chopper and have to start again. Plus, there are trees in your way, which will slow you down, and you're only allowed five soldiers in the chopper at a time. In between rounds of rescuing these people, it's time to cut them open. You'll quickly notice that this surgery mode looks and plays strikingly similar to the board game operation. You have to use your tool to grab the piece of shrapnel and guide it through the maze of the innards of the human being lying on the table. Probably one of the goriest sights on the Atari 2600 if you use your imagination to the fullest. If you hit a wall, you have to start again with that piece, and you continue until the time runs out. Against the computer, this is really a bonus stage, which is kind of weird to think that performing surgery is an all-risk scenario. However, the difficulty switch toggles whether or not your opponent will be awarded points if you hit any walls with the shrapnel. So really, this toggles whether or not it's even a bonus stage. In two-player mode, and yes, I forgot to mention there's a two-player mode, you alternate. You repeat the process of going back and forth between extraction and surgery until someone hits 999 points. There's also a variation with no tanks firing at you, and the choppers are smaller, so it's easier to maneuver between trees. In another game, your objective is to catch soldiers that have inexplicably jumped out of a plane with no parachutes. I don't know, maybe it's some form of synchronized suicide or something. But it's a race to catch as many as you can while avoiding the Korean tank, who once again targets whoever has more points. And the point values vary depending on how close to the ground you catch them. So if you're closer to the ground, you get as many as 20 points each, as opposed to the minimum of 5 from up top. Once 40 men are rescued, you move on to the operating room, same in between bonus rules as before. And last but not least is the operating room mode where you just conduct the surgery, with no extractions or parachute people in between. It's very much like the bonus stages where your fuck-ups award the computer points, and in the two-player mode you alternate after every 15 seconds, with the option of awarding the opponent points for fuck-ups. So there's a decent amount of variety in this game, and I like the dynamics of having to move your ass because it's a race, but at the same time you have to be delicate to maneuver your way between the trees and flesh. But it's kind of weird that a game that takes place on a battlefield of a major war doesn't let you shoot anything. I mean, I get it, it's about a mash unit, so it focuses on the medical aspect. I know there are a million shooting games on Atari, but having it blended with the game would have still made it unique. Regardless, it's still a decent game. Mm -hmm.